What is up guys, brethren here, and welcome your faces back to episode 8. So in this episode, we're basically just going to be doing a bunch of power leveling or trying to level up uh, our Marsh Stomp here because we need to get him to level t uh, 35. And I know you guys were like, water Pokemon, they're not really going to be good against, you know, electric type Pokemon. But the thing is, is that Marsh Stomp is a ground Pokemon. And you guys were letting me know in the comment section. I do appreciate all the feedback you guys give me in these episodes because I do know a little bit about Pokemon. But obviously, there's a lot of you guys that know a lot more than me. So that definitely helps me out. So I've decided what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to go and I'm going to buy the Earthquake TM and teach it to my Marsh Stomp. And that should be really good for going against uh, Thunder types because apparently ground Pokemon are very strong against that and Marshomp is also a ground Pokemon as well as a uh, water Pokemon. So that is my plan. Also, I wanted to let you guys know that something like really weird happened to me. I don't even know why I'm over here in the housing district. Uh, I think I saw a Scyther around here a minute ago and um, I definitely would like to capture that up if I can see that again, but it might have despawned or something. Uh, while I was getting ready for the episode, but uh, I thought that was a cool place to uh, start off because I was flying around in creative mode, which I believe I still am in creative. So we'll go game, game mode two, and we'll go into adventure mode here. So let's go to the Mart and let's try. Ooh, before we go to the Mart though, this is what I think I'm going to do. I really want to get this parkour down. Oops, sorry for that lag spike, guys. Yep, there we go. Load up for me, dude. Alright, so I've been I've been practicing on the parkour because I was just so terribly bad. What is going on here? Everyone just like throws all their Pokemon out of spawn and it like lags the mess out of it. But I've been really practicing. Oh no. I've been really practicing on my parkour. And I think I'm gonna give this a couple tries, like in the beginning of every episode, until I actually get it. <sighs> I'm just like overshooting now. This is terrible. Why is the spawn not loading up? Look at this. Freaking huge Rayquaza just Wow, what a boss. Alright, so let's try this one more time. Oh, I'm just like lagging a little bit. What's the server running right now? The server's running 15.5 TPS, so that's like really, really good. It's just everyone always meets at spawn. Look how many people we have at spawn. And they're just all just sitting here throwing their Pokemon out like, look what I got, dude. No, look what I got. I got a Mew. I got a Rayquaza. What's up? <laughs> and it just totally lags out spawn. Anyways, all right, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attempt that anymore. It's way too laggy right here around spawn to do that. So I'm gonna go to the Mart and let's pick up this Earthquake TM, and it should be over here, I believe. Yep, look at that, bam! And we're gonna buy that for five hundred dollars. And I'm interested to see what my balance is now. It looks like we have negative three hundred and twenty five dollars that doesn't make any sense how I, I'm pretty sure that we were at like seven hundred dollars or something like that so I don't know what's going on with that I'm gonna put my uh, eco uh, eco give beastly we'll give ourselves five hundred dollars cuz I know that we had like seven hundred before that so we're back up to like two hundred because we're negative three so we should be pretty good now let's just double check that all right, so 174, that's fine. All right, so let's go off in this direction, and you know what? I don't even want to go this direction. I'm, like, all over the place. I'm sorry, guys, but there was a cool little area and, that I was, like, kind of exploring the other day. And this was, of course, off camera, but it was a cool little area over here. Gosh darn. I'm sorry, these lag spikes are just crazy right now, man. Everyone is just trying to, like... I'm going to have to, like, make it to where you can't throw your pokes inside of spawn building, dude. Because this is just ridiculous. Oh, man, that's just ridiculous. Alright, so let's just get away from this lag fest and go over here. And <clears throat> let's totally explore this area. Let's explore this area that I kind of came across the other day. And I actually made like a little trail over to it. Um, I thought it was a cool little area with a little waterfall and whatnot. And uh, so let's go check this out. There's some pretty cool Pokemon over there the other day. Look at that. We got a little Clefairy there. Oh, look at that. Let's pick up. That's monies right there. Oh, yeah. That's like 80 bucks right there. Free 80 bucks. We got a Vulpix. Another Vulpix over there. Um... What do we got down here? We got a Graveler, and we have a Machop, and a Geodude. 
I'm not really interested in those. Even though these are rock type Pokemon and uh, they probably would do pretty good against a Vermilion Gym. You know what? Let's see what level the Scrabbler is. We might just be able to pick this. Look at that. 25. And <clears throat> I can let it go for that. I can let it go for that. But since we did just pick up this Earthquake TM, let's go ahead and let's teach our... Let's teach our Marsh Stomp that. Okay. And we'll just teach that. Uh, we got Mud Slap, Growl. Let's get rid of Growl. And now our Marsh Stomp knows that. So that's pretty sweet. Let's go over here and we'll just take on this Growl uh, Graveler. I'm pretty sure we can just take it right out. Uh, we'll use Earthquake. Well, because he is, he is a higher level than us, but two Earthquakes should take him out. Yep. Very, very nice, dude. I'm telling you, Earthquake is such a beast move. Teach it one more time, or teach it, use it one more time. There we go. All right, cool. So that should have leveled up. There we go. We got to level off that. Not bad, not bad. Let's go off in this direction here and uh, see what we got. We got a Numel. Got a couple more Machops. And we have a, a Beldum. Now, this will be pretty cool to catch. This would definitely be pretty cool to catch. Let's go ahead and let's try and catch this guy. I don't even know. I don't even think we have any... We don't even have anything to catch this guy with in our inventory, which kind of sucks. Um, darn. Well, we just go ahead and kill him. That's fine. We got a level 31 Numel. Let's go ahead and battle this guy as well. We're just doing some power leveling, I'm telling you. Earthquake. Take this guy out. Ooh, Numel's already pretty much dead. That wasn't very nice. That was some easy XP there. Okay. So we're doing some leveling here. We already got two levels in like the matter of like 60 seconds there. That was pretty sweet. And um, we got another, oh, okay, we got Geodude. We got another Graveler down here. Level 34 this time. Let's go ahead and take this guy on. And we'll use Earthquake again. We're just going to keep pumping out those Earthquakes, man. They seem to be working really good for us. And of course, Rock Against Water. I don't think it's really effective because it's not doing anything to me. I don't know what type of moves he was using. I didn't really keep my eye on that, but... Uh, wow. Okay, Marsh Stomp is fainted now. That kind of sucks. Let's go up here. I think this is, uh, I think this is Pewter right here. Up on this little hill here. And what level is this Mill Tank? I would like a Mill Tank in my collection. It's level 13. Ah, not really worth grabbing up, to be honest. Might would try and find one a little bit higher than that, but let's get up on this mountain tap and uh, let's go heal our Pokemon. Let's go heal our Marsh Stomp here because that's pretty much the one we're trying to level up. And uh, here's the little train station, man. I'm telling you, that train station's so beast. I like that. A wicked good addition on the uh, Pixelmon server for sure. Oh, snap! Okay, so I totally just missed where I was supposed to. <laughs> I wonder how many other people have made that mistake. That's pretty funny. I just like walked right off the ledge there. Okay. Apparently he did too. He's like, oh man. Unless he just kind of did this number right here, which apparently he did. Alright, so let's go over here. And since you guys saw uh, the Boulder Gym the first time, we've definitely made quite a few more renovations to it. It looks really, really sweet now. Like a little mining project's going on. Hence, like, the boulder badge. Kind of got that boulder feel to it. No one's apparently here right now. But uh, we do have a little heal station to where we can heal up our Pokemon. And uh, go back into the wild and try and level up this Marsh Dump just a little bit more. And uh, we should be good. Now, ooh, look at that. That was very nice of you. Thank you so much, Collins. Or what is that? Colin RSS. Thank you, brother. I appreciate that. Let's go into our inventory or in our ender chest here, rather. And, um, where's our water badge at? Okay, there it is. We'll put our badges, like, over here. I don't want to get them mixed up. So we'll put our boulder badge. We got our cascade badge. And, um, we got our water stone. We don't really need this thunder stone. And, of course, we don't really need this leaf stone either. We can sell this as well as we can sell that. So we'll put these sell items in here for right now. Or, you know what, we'll put them in our, our main inventory. And, uh, that's from a donator. I don't need that. Hmm, now let me know in the comments section. Now, something that I don't know about Pixelmon is the Lucky Egg deal. I know it's got something to do, well actually I don't, it's 
it's I know it's something to obviously do with your Pokemon. You give it to them. It's like a held item. But I don't really know what it does. So if you guys want to let me know, feel free to let me know in the comments section. That would be much appreciated because I got two of them bad boys, but I don't know what to do with them. And of course, a smoke ball, that's a pretty sweet item. They added that in the new 2.5 update where you can like throw it down and pretty much escape from any Pokemon, which is pretty cool. Uh, but considering that we don't uh, allow Pokemon to force battle you, wild Pokemon to force battle you on this uh, server, that's turned off. So uh, that's really not needed. But um, yeah, I don't need this glass either or this item frame. That's pretty weird. Anyways, though, uh, what I, I was seeing, I guess we don't really have any Pokeballs, so we're gonna really need to go to the Mart. Let's go to the uh, let's go slash warp Mart here, and let's pick up some Pokeballs because in case we do run into some awesome Pokemon uh, that we do want to capture up, I want to make sure that we can do that. And we only have like 200 bucks though, not even. Um, ah, so I guess. I don't know, it's so weird because because I'm opt it like allows me to buy this stuff even though I don't have enough money. So because we only had like $174, but now like my balance because I bought two of those is like negative 25. So to be fair, I, w I need to go and like sell some of this stuff. So it brings me back up into the green. So let's go back into our ender chest and we'll grab those two little sell items. We have our, uh, do, 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 do. okay, there we go. They already were in our uh, inventory so we'll go over here we'll sell this leather as well as this hammer now what hammer was this is that iron hammer all right so we'll sell the iron hammer we get 30 bucks for that and then over here I believe is the leather yep we got four of those bad boys and that will bring us into the green and we now have eighty four dollars or is that thirty four I think it's eighty four okay it's hard to kinda see I got my chat low and uh, the opposite turned down so let's go head off back into the same direction here and I think I can do slash warp houses and then it'll put us a little bit closer there yep there we go alright so we'll go back off in this direction I kinda like this area there's not too many people around it if you use the different biomes of course you got kinda people all around and this way we can kinda explore for ourselves and uh, there won't be too many people around to kinda steal our pokes and stuff like that there's another graveler over here Let's see if we can't level up. Ooh, yep, 34 here. So let's go ahead. We'll try and get a couple levels off this guy. We'll use Earthquake. Hopefully take him out in two hits again, and that would be absolutely boss. And, oh, I missed that move again. I was trying to de decide what kind of moves he was using on me. They must be like ground moves or something. That's why they're not that effective. Although I think uh, Earthquake is a ground move, so I don't know what I'm talking about. But it looks like we're going to have to use three of these guys to actually take out Graveler this time. Um, we should get a couple of levels, though. I'm assuming. Okay, Marsh Stomp used Earthquake. Super effective. Graveler fainted. Nice! Okay, Mud Bomb. Foresight enables a Ghost-type target to be hit by normal. So we might need Foresight. Uh, tackle. We might need... Mud Slap, definitely going to need Earthquake. Let's just go ahead and get rid of Foresight, I guess, because I know that, um, let's look at that one more time. Now, I know that Mud Bomb and Mud Slap, definitely two good moves in my opinion, uh, and, and excellent against Fossil Pokemon from what uh, I've been told, so we we'll definitely like to keep those. Now, it would have been nice to keep the Foresight too. I might should have got rid of Mud Slap, I don't know, because uh, I do think Mud Bomb is better, but, uh, Feel free to let me know that one in the comment section as well. We got a level 22 Numel. We might be able to get a little bit of XP off this guy. Let's go ahead and throw our uh, Marsh Stomp out. And our Marsh Stomp is looking particularly boss today. Look at this guy. Just a freaking monster. All right, so I can't wait to level him up to a uh, to the last level, which is a Swampert, man. That's going to be pretty sweet to see. Now let's go ahead. Come on. Come on. Battle. There we go. And we'll use Earthquake again. We're just, I'm telling you, man, Earthquake, that's, uh, that's all we got to use, apparently. Look at that. Just slammed. All right, cool. So we got a little bit of XP off that. Let's head back in this direction. These little Mosh Stomps are pretty cool, man. That's like a Pygmy or something, I believe. I see a lot of those, though. Those and Ratatatas, I believe, are probably the most Pygmies I see. I see those all the time. And uh, sometimes Nidorans and stuff too. Those look really, really cool as a pygmy. They're just like super, super tiny, man. It's crazy. 
Um, Alright, so it looks like we're getting kind of into the desert a little bit. Which is cool because there's some, uh, there's some pretty high levels out here in the desert. Look at that. Off the gate. Let's try this guy. Let's hit him with that earthquake like a boss. And uh, see what that does to him. Okay, you use some swagger on me, bro. Hit me with that swagger, dude. Oh no, I'm confused. That's no good. That is no good, man. Alright, you use swagger again. Come on now. Your swag is not on my level, bro. Just get this earthquake out. <laughs> we should have freaking got that smoke ball. Is what should have happened, so I could just been like, you know what, dude? Screw your little confusion rays. I'm out of here. I got better things to do. Oh man, come on, dude. Don't you just hate it when people just use the same freaking move on you? You know? They just use the same move. Look at that. But it was no match for our Marston. We just beasted through them, and now we're level 27. And uh, yeah, dude, we're. It'll be no time. It'll be no time before we can. Go to the Vermilion Gym and take that down. Okay, it's level 48. That's probably a little bit too much for us right now. Maybe this guy's a little bit... Uh, yep, okay, 35. Now, we're only 50 out of 81. We'll see. I know that Sand Slash is an absolute boss. So, if we get this Pokemon down to a little bit of health, I might try and use these two Ultra Balls to actually catch him. Because this guy is a monster. And we can actually level cap Sand Slash because he is a... Uh, ground type Pokemon and uh, Wow look at that. It didn't even hardly do anything to this guy. Uh, let's try mud bomb I don't know why but let's just try it see what it does But uh, if we can actually capture up this sand slash ooh, it did a little bit more damage awesome So that's a pretty sweet move and uh, we can actually capture up this guy and hopefully uh, You know take down the vermilion gym with it. So let's go ahead and throw out our Hmm, Jolteon, I don't think Jolteon is really going to do much. I don't think Dragonair is either, uh, but we can try. We can try, uh, but what I was going to tell you guys uh, basically earlier, and that might have actually been in another take of an episode or something, but basically what happened was there was a problem with, I had one Pokemon in my inventory, and basically I do that because... Whenever, you know, Pokemon used to attack you on the server, wild Pokemon and stuff, I'd always have just one Pokemon in my inventory that was fainted, so when I'm going around building or doing whatever I'm doing, I don't have to worry about Pokemon attacking me. Well, since the new update, um, basically, that doesn't happen anymore, but I still end up, like, I still find myself doing that, putting all my Pokemon in the actual PC whenever I'm not playing. And uh, basically, I ended up losing a Pokemon somehow, and it glitched my whole game out, and I had to delete my Pokemon. So these are all the Pokes that I actually have now, which is, it's, it kind of sucks. Because I had some other ones, but to be honest, they weren't the greatest. We had like a Nidoran or something, and like a Vulpix, and just really, really common Pokemon. You know, we had like an uh, like an Elekid and, and something else. So I'm not really that, you know brought down about it because we can definitely come back from it and uh, but the three main pokemon which was our marstomp our dragonair and uh you know the jolteon i definitely want to keep so those are the ones we're gonna keep and we'll just build our team from there and i still want to find that ghastly if i can find a haunter that would be even better and i actually have seen a couple lately just flying around so hopefully we'll come across one pretty soon because i definitely want to add a psychic pokemon to our team now, uh, well, let's see here. Thunder Wave. I've just kind of been talking and not really, not really paying attention to the screen. I know sometimes it's, when you go off into these rants, it's kind of hard to play at the same time as uh, as well as talking. So, Slam did a little bit of damage to him. Let's see if we can't get one more out. Maybe you know Sand Slash does some kind of silly move here. Oh, we are. It looks like our. Uh, Okay, nice, nice, nice. One more slam. If we one more slam, we might be able to capture up Sand Slash. That would be awesome. That would be absolutely awesome. Okay, so he took us out. We got Jolteon though. 
Uh, let's see what, uh, let's just do a tackle. Just a plain little tackle. He's level 26. It shouldn't do too much damage to, okay, cool. And, uh, we might even be able to get one more of those off, but I don't want to, uh, I don't want, let's, let's just try and capture him here. I don't know if he's going to be able to be captured because he still has kind of a little bit of health there. But we'll see. But I know... Ah, oh, see? Nope. Dang, that sucks. And he's going to take us out, too. So, nope, he didn't. Let's try it one more time. I know it's probably like a shot in the dark, but... We'll see. This is the last Ultra Ball we got, and we have no monies. So, <laughs> we definitely need to do something here. Come on, just stay in the ball, bro. You got this. You got this. Oh, man, that is awesome. All right, that is awesome. So let's go back to spawn, and uh, and we'll just heal up our Pokemon here. And we're good to go for Vermillion Gem. So basically, uh, yeah, let's go heal our Pokemon. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to level cap this Sand Slash, and we should definitely be good. We'll go give Vermillion Gem a couple tries. But that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be in the next episode. Oh, I forgot I only have to go on my PC. So let's level up. Or not level up, but level cap this uh, sand slash here, just in case, because we don't want to go over in case we do lose the first time. But I'm pretty sure, let's check out this guy's moves. We got dig, gyro ball, so we're going to have to teach this guy earthquake as well. So I might looks like I'm going to have to earn a little bit of monies before, uh, you know, before we go to this next gym. We're going to need to earn $500 so we can buy earthquake i'll probably do that in a tr stream or something like that i think i'm gonna probably stream maybe even tonight but uh, if not tonight i'll probably stream a little bit tomorrow but i'm thinking i'm probably gonna get together with maybe a few st uh, friends or something and stream a little bit tonight so if you'd like to check that out i have my twitch link in the description below but other than that i hope you guys are enjoying this pixelmon series i know it's been a while since i've been putting out these episodes but i promise you guys i'm gonna be st i'm gonna start putting these episodes out uh, a lot more frequent and I know I've said that in the past but uh, you know some things have been going on in my life recently but uh, you know I'm ready to get back on the grind I'm ready to you know start pumping out some more YouTube videos for you guys but anyways thanks so much for watching I do appreciate it. this has been brethren and I will see your face in the next video take care and peace out guys